in this video we're going to take a quick look at the uh, 4 meter amateur band 70 megs and a portable antenna uh, which can be used either a portable hilltop or just as equally as well as a home base antenna because at the moment home base antennas there, there's not a lot out there for 4 meters uh, there's people using Sirios, the 470 versions. Um, there also is the Moonraker 5 8 wave and there's the uh, very popular Ringo style uh, 5 8 wave antennas. Um, yes, they're all very good. Um, okay, if you've got a nice permanent uh, installation somewhere, uh, a nice sturdy mast to put them on. But sometimes you just want something a little bit lighter. And today we're going to take a look at uh, one of those antennas. And also, we're going to show you something very brand new. Uh, a one-off design. A company, uh, I requested the company make myself a uh, antenna. And uh, we will take a look at the product a little bit later after the review of the first one. The antenna I'm going to take a look at first is the uh, Viper VH78 stroke 4M. 78 stand for 7 8th wave um, it's like a dipole design it's, um, I think you class it a lot of people class it as a flower pot designed type antenna um, excuse the little bits of black tape on there that's uh, mine um, when it comes from the manufacturer Hawkins radio it's actually a very well made piece of kit I've just added the extra bits of tape because I've been using it quite a bit and it's just there to give it a little bit of extra strength and a bit of extra waterproofing though it doesn't really need it as you can see by all the connections they are very well done um, it's like a flower pot design um, it's called the Viper and it's made by Hawkins Radio and um, it can be used either portable or as a home base and uh, I should demonstrate that in a moment. I'm going to be uh, setting up the antenna in the garden on a temporary tripod. This can be done exactly the same on a hilltop in a field, man portable. You can carry it in a just a lightweight canvas bag, uh, like a deck chair bag. And it's just um, a small tripod and a approximately about a 15 feet uh, fiberglass old fishing pole and i shall show you a quick uh, time lapse demonstration of how quick it is to uh, set up and all you need to do at the end is just connect a coax and away you go So that's how fast it is to actually uh, just to put it up onto a fiberglass pole. As you can see, there, I've just suspended it down there from the top. Uh, you can actually use Velcro tile or just some black tape to actually secure it to the actual rod itself, uh, just to make a tidier installation. But it works a treat, even at this height, just off the ground. If you go up on a hillside somewhere, it works absolutely wonderful. I've had contacts from uh, um, the local ports downhill uh, to over 40 odd miles using this antenna very good indeed but it's it's, a, it's still just a dipole at the end of the day so it's fairly simple in design but they do others now hawkins radio um say so this is the viper vhf 784m it is a dipole like i say and on his range of um, antennas that he does he does a 5 8 wave plus um like a coaxial stub Coax stub made antennas uh, which outperform the dipole quite considerably. He doesn't make one for four meter, so I contacted them, uh, the gentleman at Hawkins Radio, and he was a very, gentle, very nice guy. And uh, he said, "Yeah, I can, uh, I can design one and make one for you." So I now have the very first, the one-off and only one in the UK, uh, Viper five eighth plus four meter antenna. And yes, it does outperform this antenna. And I will show you that next. And this is the first time the Hawkins Radio 4 meter SSD 5 8 plus antenna has ever been seen. The only one. Um, they made a prototype to try it out to get all the measurements. But as you can see, it's almost looking, in, as it's in its coiled up state, it looks identical. But uh, I shall unwind it and show you the uh, difference in it in a moment. So we've just stepped inside the shed out of the wind at the moment. And uh, just for a close up, as you can see, the bottom of the antenna uh, with the little choke, the coil, is identical. 
nicely made, nicely uh, sealed up against the weather. Uh, very professionally done. Uh, marked up there with, as you can see, the SSD 558 plus 4 meter antenna. And the main difference between uh, this and the dipole is as you go down the line, the coax, you'll find a doubled up piece of coax. There's a join in it as well. So you've got the element, higher element there, which is the uh, the transmitting element. And then it feeds into a nicely made stub antenna at the bottom, which gives it the uh, nice balance of 50 ohms for 5 8 wave. The 5 8 wave over a half wave dipole. Well, for those of you who uh, don't know the difference, in, in, in short, the best way I look at it is the fact antennas. Imagine them as golf clubs. You use the same amount of power you with a golf club to swing that little stick and hit that ball. And depending on the golf club you use is how far that ball will go. Sometimes the ball goes more up than distance, so it falls short. Another time it goes shallow and goes a long way. Antennas are the same. Starting at, say, the uh, half wave and uh, you've got quarter wave antennas. The RF tends to go more upwards not directly up, but more upwards than across. When you get up to about a 5 8 wave, and that's the most efficient, or one of the most efficient antennas, to put in the RF out almost horizontally. Um, they're quoting a zero degree radiation pattern for this antenna, which would make it very good, good on top of hilltops. Um, I use a, a 7 8 antenna on another band, and from a hilltop I can transmit over 100 miles. So this thing is very promising indeed. The RF load from this will be very low, either zero as they say, or just a few degrees above the horizon, which will give you very long local uh, um, ground wave, or when the skip's up, a uh, very good skip as well. So it can be used on sideband, on the lower end of the frequencies, on four meters, but I've got this one to be used on the FM portion. All I've done, um, the SWR is almost flat right across the whole curve, um, but I just tweaked it down slightly and I achieved that by the far end of the, the other end of the antenna. You can actually fold the wire back or lengthen it slightly. He's left enough cable there on the end, a little loop for you to make adjustments as required. And um, to be honest, it didn't need it, but I've just tweaked down the SWR by about what, what was about 1 to 1.5, I got down to about 1 to 1.3. Um, so very, very good indeed um, across the whole FM band. And that is the brand new antenna. It's not on their website yet, but I should imagine if you were interested and you wanted to give it a go, then uh, just maybe uh, approach Hawkins and there are other manufacturers as well, but approach Hawkins, speak nicely to the gentleman and he'll make you one. As good as that. This is what the end of the antenna looks like. He's made a lovely little loop on there. I've kind of ruined it a little bit because I've put some uh, temporary insulating tape on it because I took apart, he had a nice heat shrink on it. And I did take that apart um, just to adjust it slightly. But uh, to be honest, like I say, didn't really need it. I was just being a really, just a bit fussy, uh, just to try and bring down the SWR as best I could. And I've achieved that by just changing it by a couple of centimetres, and all is good. But you can attach that to a, a top of a fibreglass pole, hook it over, um, you know, it can go on a spider beam. You can make it as a permanent fixture. Very good indeed. Uh, and that's about it. There you go. Cable runs down, the blue TX element, and then it goes into a nice little sleeve waterproof area, down the coax, and then into the stub. Hopefully that's given you a few options to think about as regards to 4 meter antennas. Like you say, you can use a Serio, and I do have a Serio which is up on the mast just above me, 41 feet up. Um, very good antenna indeed. Has a little bit of a few problems with uh, water egress or condensation, as they all do, but it works a treat. And again, that gets out 40 or 50 miles from here in my home base location. Um, for deployable antennas, those wire designs are fantastic. I've had some very good results with the original 4 meter antenna. So again, it's horses of courses really. The dipole works tremendously well, and being a dipole, you can have it horizontally and use it on the um, a sideband as well uh, when the conditions pick up. But say, I'm just using it for FM, and now with the 58 plus version, I'm hoping to get out even further maybe 50 60 miles from a good hilltop location. Who knows, even further. And um, four meter band's quite a magical band, it's a bit like the six meter band. But there's quite a few active users on it now. 
Um, if you want to make it other antennas like the Delta Loop, um, it's easy enough done, or even a dipole. Um, being a four meter band, the antenna elements are not that big. Uh, we're talking about the first wave is about one meter, so a half wave dipole is two quarter waves. So you're talking about six foot or so along, two meters roughly. So there, there's options out there, and it's very simple to make a simple dipole or just then stick an element behind it or in front of it as well, and you've got yourself a beam antenna. So have a play, enjoy the hobby. Uh, this has been Enthusiastic Steve. Hopefully it's shed a little bit more light on uh, what, what options are out there available to use. Enjoy the hobby. 73s.